Since Red Feather is, is literally the end of the road, during emergency times, this is sort of a rallying point. Really an extraordinary library for such a small community. The solar project will allow us to remain operational during power outages. We size the system so we're 100% capable in any emergency. We actually started this back in 2018 uh, after the High Park fire. We formed a local nonprofit up here at Red Feather Lakes called the North 40 Mountain Alliance, and we work with Larimer County Emergency Services. This was supposed to be the headquarters in case of a, a forest fire, wildfire, and power outage, stuff like that. When we decided to do the solar project, Sandbox Solar was the only company that was willing to come up here and work with us. A lot of the companies we contacted were not interested because the, the project was too small and uh, that didn't matter to Sandbox. They just jumped right in and have done a fantastic job for us. There just happened to be a grant available for that very thing from EBSCO, which is a company that works with libraries and they give away three grants worldwide every year. I wrote a grant for the project and we were fortunate enough to be awarded one of the grants and that's where we started. Since Red Feather is, is literally the end of the road, the residents here is very easy during forest fire for us to get cut off. Generally one of the first things that happens in a forest fire is that the electrical companies will go down and cut the power lines. So you end up without power, uh, people are without information, people get scared, and that's really one of the reasons the North 40 came into existence was to be a liaison between emergency services and local residents. The library is actually the, head, the headquarters for North 40 Mountain Alliance, and what we do is sort of interface between uh, emergency services and local residents, and we just disperse information from incident command or sheriff's department, whatever, wherever it happens to come from. This is really an extraordinary library for such a small community, and uh, you, you won't find anything like it anywhere, I don't think. During emergency times, this is sort of a rallying point. The, the solar project will allow us to remain operational during power outages, no matter how long they are. We size the system so that we can stay off grid indefinitely. We also have an underground trunk line feed for internet. So uh, we will always have internet, we'll always have power, uh, air conditioning in the summer, heat in the winter, water, restrooms, the whole, the whole nine yards. So we're 100% capable in any emergency. Sandbox has gone over and above time and time again. Uh, I would recommend them to anybody for any size project. They have been really great. 10 out of 10, actually 12 out of 10. 